Hey guys, there she is in all her glory, all set up uh, to run some 45. I got, I've got nine bullets left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine of them. And one of the things I know I didn't couldn't show you this on the range the other day real well, and I may not now. But you see how there's a lip there? Here's the bullet itself. And you can see where that top lube groove is. The groove itself is higher. If I take, this is a 230 gate grain truncated cone. Excuse me, my speech is poor today. But you can see how it kind of goes all the way across. So, that tends to cause a little lip there, and that's what was causing my misfeed, which is why I've switched to the truncated cone. But I've got nine of these left. I had some cases out. Uh, got my powder measure adjusted. Let's see if I can zoom you in a little. You can kind of see how all this goes. Um, I've done the best I can. I don't have a riser. There's a riser they make to put on here with your uh, primer feed and I'll do a couple of these with you zoomed in so we'll put our our case in there run it up and it'll pop the primer out we just put a primer in the in the primer heely there primer arm it'll turn the top and you just give a little push forward Run her back up, and with the powder dispenser on there, the case is charged, and I don't have my light on over my bench because I just was going to do this real quick. So I'm going to take my little light, I'm going to look, visually make sure that there's powder in there, set my bullet on. Run it up into the seating die, and out comes the completed round. Primed, bullet seated. Um, we're going to measure it. Zero the calipers. 1.5. Two seven six one point two seven. I call that pretty darn good. Let's do another one with it zoomed in. Now I don't have my factory crimp die, so I've got an empty spot. If I was doing forty or nine millimeter, I've got the factory crimp dies for those. So we're gonna run one up. And you can see it hits here, hit the primer. We're going to run that in. Put our primer in the primer arm, make sure it's there. Run it down, it'll advance. Push the primer in, just give it a little nudge forward. Run it up into the powder dispenser. Visually check. Set our bullet in. Seat our bullet. Take her off. Two. So you can kind of see that. Uh, double check my length here. Yep, we're still good. So you can see. Now I'm going to try to zoom you back out so you can kind of see the whole operation go. Uh-oh, Mama's home. She's early. <laughs> the dogs love my love my wife more than I do me. And you can see it hits that prime the primer feed. It's not a big deal. There's a, a riser that lifts this powder measure up a little bit more. I just have to get that. It's ten bucks. I just didn't get it yet. Oh. 
Oh, what did I forget? The nice thing is you can back it up a step. stretch of the imagination. Put the primer in, seat the primer, charge it. Pull it in, seat it. Another completed round. seat the primer in that one. Now you get to see what, what you do when you screw up. This is a kinetic bullet puller that I just dropped all the parts to on the floor. I guess I'm not going to show you how that works after all. Lost part. I'll find it when I sweep. Need new wheels on my stool. I'm going to set that round aside just because it doesn't have a prime. Well, Unique is a pretty forgiving powder. So we'll see. We'll just prime it. And we should be good. I don't see any powder laying anywhere, so. We'll run that back out. Drop our primer, primer in, there we go, I see what happened. you can kind of get the idea once you find your groove. Oh, I missed a step. 
See, look at that. Screw up all the time. We're gonna make extra sure here. I might edit some of that out, might not. Y'all need to know people make mistakes. There we go. That was nine rounds. Seems to me that, uh, you know, aside from having to look for a bullet puller part, <laughs> there's a uh, doodad like this that goes in here. And this is for a much smaller bullet. But it just goes around and it holds the rim. And it goes into your puller. And this is just like a hammer. So now all you got to do is wrap it. Until your bullet comes out. Which sometimes takes a little bit. No bullet. Dump her out. There's your bullet. Now you want to clean all the powder off of everything. The powder should be just fine to dump back in here. And pretty much there you go. No, that's the wrong size. If I'd had the right size, that would have popped a little easier. Let's make sure there's not any powder in there. And there again, the beauty of this is that you can just advance it that easy. Put powder in there again. Make sure there's no powder around the base of the bullet. I'll just stick it back in. Ta da! Let me round again. So, that's pretty much how that goes. You've seen the truncated cone. I also have some other um, semi wad cutters, they're 200 grain that I like to use for uh, USPSA. They're just kind of a nice, they make a nice hole in the paper. Which is what the semi-wad cutters and the wad cutters are for. Uh, wad cutters usually in a revolver, semi-wad cutters in a semi-auto. So, I will add these rounds to my case back here, clean up my mess, and uh, that's going to be it for today. So it's kind of a long video. I'm going to edit some stuff out, shorten it up a bit. Um, stay safe, uh, God bless, and have a great, great day.